let us discuss one more problem. If sin h2x is equal to 3 by 4, then find cos h of 2x and sin of h of 2x. So, in order to find out this one, first we need to find out cos hx value. With the help of sin hx and cos hx, the both the values can be evaluated. So, first let us find out cos hx value. So, now to find out cos hx, we need to recall or we know that, we know that cos h square x minus sin h square x equals to 1. You need not by hat, you need not actually committed to the memory this one, already established fact this one. So, now here given, here given sin h x is equal to 3 by 4. So, replace in the place of sin h x 3 by 4. So, cos h square x minus 3 by 4 whole square equals to 1. Now, cos h square x minus 9 by 16 equals to 1. So, now cos h square x equals to 1 plus 9 by 16, am I correct? So, now 16 is the LCM, 16 plus 9 is 25 by 16. So, now cos h x equals to root over 25 by 16. So, this equals to 5 by 4, square root of 25 is 5, square root of 16 is 4. Now, we know the cos h x. So, let us find out 1 by 1 now. Cos h 2 x equals to cos h square x plus sin h square x. So, we have here cos h x value is 5 by 4. So, 5 by 4 whole square plus sin h sin h square x sin h x is here 3 by 4. So, now here we can substitute. So, that is equal to 3 by 4 whole square. Let it be simplified. 25 by 16 plus 9 by 16. So, while actually making the numerical calculations, we have to take at most k. So, now 16 is the LCM 25 plus 9. 34 by 16, 217 ja, 2 edge. Ja. So, this equal to 17 by 8, you can check. So, now let us move to find sin h of 2 x. Sin h of 2 x, this is nothing but 2 sin h x cos h x. This is the basic fact. The sin h x is same this one cos h x is 5 by 4. Let us substitute these two values now. So, 2 multiplied by 3 by 4 and cos h x is multiplied by 5 by 4. So, 2 1 ja, 2 2 ja. So, we get 3 times 5 is 15, 2 times 4 is 8, 15 by 8. Both the values have been determined. If cos h 2 x equals to 5 by 2, then find the values of cos h of 2 x and sin h of 2 x. So, basically as the cos h x value has been provided for us. So, let us find out first sin h x value using one of the identities. 
So first let us find out sin hx after that the both the values can be evaluated. Solution given cos hx equals to 5 by 2. So we need to recall the identity. We know that cos h square x minus sin h square x equals to 1. So, replace this value, the cos h x is 5 by 2, replace here in the place of here. So, now we get 5 by 2 whole square minus sin h square x equals to 1. This is 25 by 4 minus sin h square x equals to 1. Bring 1 this side minus sin h square that side. You get sin h square x equals to 1 minus 25 by 4. Sorry, this is 25 by 4 minus 1. I repeat once again here. Now, 4 is the LCM, 25 minus 4 that will be 21 by 4. We need to find out sin hx now. Sin hx equals to root over 21 by 4. That is root 21 square root of 4 is 2. It may be plus or minus also no problem. So, root 21 by 2. So, now the first one let us find out cos h 2 x. Let us recall the identity already we have discussed established relation that is cos h square x plus sin h square x. So, this equal to the cos h x is this 5 by 2 sin h x value is root 21 by 2. So, let us substitute this is 5 by 2 square plus root 21 by 2 whole square or we can directly substitute this 21 by 4 also no problem both ways you can do it which is convenient you can adopt. So, this is 25 by 4 plus 21 by 4 because root 21 square 21 2 square is 4. So, 4 is the LCM 25 plus 21 this equals to 46 by 4 2 2 ja 2 3 ja 2 2 ja. So, 23 by 2 this is cos h 2 x. Now, second one sin h 2 x. This is the formula we have 2 sin h x cos h x 2 times sin h x is this one root 21 by 2 whereas cos h x is 5 by 2 root 21 by 2 and cos h x is 5 by 2. So, this equals to we can write now 2 2 gets cancelled 5 root 21 upon 2. So, this is the answer. Sometimes you may write plus or minus also no problem.